All right, what's up, everybody? It is me, Sassy. Sassy Frizzle, if you nasty. I don't know why I keep saying that, but anyway, um, today I am going to experiment. I want to see um, what will happen if I use Cricut's Infusible Ink on a sublimation mug. So, um, for those of you who don't know what uh, Infusible Ink is, this is Cricut's Infusible Ink. Um, I don't want to get into a whole lot of detail about what it is, but it essentially um, infuses the ink into uh, the surface um, that has been treated to allow that to happen, like polyester, um, sublimation blanks, at least that's what our hope is going to happen anyway, because to me, it seems like this is pretty much the same concept as sublimation. If it's infusing into the surface using heat and sublimation ink essentially does the same thing, I want to see what happens if I take it, um, a step further. Um, the reason that I'm experimenting is because I went crazy and purchased a whole lot of this stuff and I haven't used it much yet. So here goes, let's see um, what happens. All right, so the image that I am going to use is um, just a little cute saying. Um, and before I weed this, I'm going to actually get my cutter Um, because I also uh, am addicted to collecting scraps and even though it's a small scrap I promise you I'll use it at some point for something else so um, with the um, infusible ink transfer sheets you weed them like normal um, My fingernails always get in the way of me being able to do stuff efficiently. All right, so warning. You can only use um, sublimation blanks for projects like this. That's it. Dollar Tree mugs will not work. Um, None of that. You have to get sublimation blanks. It's really important. So, when I get ready to apply the um, the decal, I'm going to clean my surface, or at least I'm going to attempt to. My alcohol spray is not working. There we go. Sheesh. I'm going to clean my surface, get rid of any dust and gunk and debris and all that to prepare my surface for crafting. Um, another little hack I like to use to keep my rug from up uh, rug. My mug from rolling is to stick um, like an Advil bottle, paint, anything of the sort underneath the handle to keep it still when you get ready to apply your decal. And this is especially true when um, dealing with this particular decal just because it has to stay in place in order to be effective. So I am going to apply this um, as I normally would, is that a little piece of paper? That's just a little piece of paper on my transfer tape. I'm going to apply this as I normally would. Um, and then I'm going to tape, this is heat resistant transfer tape. I'm going to ensure that first is straight where I want it to be. And then I'm going to add transfer, uh, heat resistant transfer tape because um, 
you don't want this to move while it's being heated. That's really important that it stays in place because infusible ink, at least when I used it before, and that just could be due to operator error, but I had a little bit of ghosting. Um, pretty much what that means is my transfer tape or something shifted after it was heated. Um, going a little overboard on this because I really wanted to stay in place. going to take some butcher paper this gigantic roll of it going to wrap it tightly around your mug and this is really important too because once you put the butcher paper on you want to wrap it in such a way that it won't shift because again if the butcher paper starts moving then the transfer underneath it has a really good chance of moving and if the transfer underneath it moves you have ghosting and ghosting is not very pretty especially um, if you're using a sublimation blank because they are not cheap. So you want to minimize the, um, minimize the risk of anything happening to your, your mug or whatever it is you're using um, when you're crafting on it. So the same way that I put heat resistant tape on the actual transfer underneath. I'm also going to tape my butcher paper because again, I don't want that to move any more than I want the transfer underneath it to move. Okay. And you wanna make sure it's on here as snug and as tight as possible. That should do it. All right. you need um, the silicone sleeve 
you can get them on Amazon. I don't remember how much it costs, but as with everything else, I will put a link to it in the description, video description. Um, this little thingy is rather tricky. Um, and every time I use it, I always forget how it goes. But you just wrap it tightly, like literally as tight as you possibly can around your mug remembering where your design is <clears throat> and I'm going to put this in the oven on um, and yes the conventional kitchen oven I'm going to put this in the oven um, on 400 degrees for 15 minutes I am not going to preheat the oven, so I will see you in 30. Okay guys, um, 15 minutes has passed. Now, I don't know if before um, I put the mug in the oven, I said 30 or 15 minutes. If I said 30 minutes, disregard, I don't know what where that came from but um it's 15 minutes in the oven on 400 degrees is what i did um it is still very hot um but i'm going to remove this while it is hot and you'll find out what's going to happen right along with me who's hot I need another oven mitt. <clears throat> All right. So, okay. And I'm going to remove the tape. Again, I am experimenting. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to find underneath here, but we will find out together. Yes, it's hot. <laughs> it's getting hotter by the second. I think I'll invest in some heat gloves if I'm going to be working with heat regularly. Otherwise, I'm going to burn my fingerprints off. to see what happens when you use infusible ink on a sublimation blank. amazing actually if I do say so myself I'm gonna put this in some cool water and let this cool but from the looks of it works pretty good 
and it's a lot cheaper. And sublimation printer ink. So if you're just doing, um, you know, simple mugs, black and white, um, you could definitely try this. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Toodles.